How to translate languages using Google Chrome's Translate extension. First, go to the Google homepage. Now, sign in using your child's Google Classroom sign in account. This will be their name at gateshedschools.org. Click on this or type it in and enter their password. Make sure you are signed out of any other accounts before you sign in as your child. When you are signed in, it will show you in the corner. Now we need to type in Google Translate Extension. Press enter. Google Translate, Google Chrome. This is what we need. Click on the link. Now we want to add this to Chrome. Add the extension. This tells us the extension is now up here. Close this and to find the extension, click inside the jigsaw piece and you will see it there. Now for videos, with the extension installed, by playing a video through YouTube, turn on the closed captions. To change the language, click on the settings, go to subtitles, go to auto translate. Now choose the language which you want to translate to. Here I will use Arabic. It will now display any of the spoken words in the language you selected through the settings. You can also use Google Translate within Google Classroom. Let's go to Google Classroom. We go into our class. In Google Classrooms, we will need to turn on the extension for Google Translate. Go to the jigsaw at the top, click, find Google Translate and click to open. Now we want it to translate this page. Click this link here. This bar at the top is Google Translate and we can select our language. I am selecting Arabic. I click on this and the text on the page is translated to Arabic. When you are finished translating, you can click show original, send it back Arabic again if it needs to be translated. When you are finished, click the X to close.